Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel for mini vlogmas number five. I was going to make a number five, but yeah, I'm, I'm pooped again. Anyway, but I should be wide awake because I had a nap already. Yeah, I uh, came home and last night I was get all ready to leave. I think it was like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I was like, I had just uh, emailed um, Kimmy's boxes back because she was looking for, I needed to get my address to her. And I said, you are my last email of the night. I'm going home, blah, blah, blah. I was so excited. And I uh, just am um, getting ready to sign everything off. And one of my bosses called. And uh, I was like, how do they even know I'm still there? But anyway, he says, are you still in the office? Could you get this started for me? And so I don't have so much to do in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, sure, that's okay. Next thing I knew, I finished what project he wanted me to do. And it was almost 11 o'clock. So I got home about 11 o'clock last night. Did my blog. Uh, put the little pieces together because I had, you know, wanted to put my little intro with the music and things like that in it. And while that was uploading, not to YouTube, but just uploading to a file in my computer, I fell asleep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I didn't get to upload it last night. And I, it was just weighing on me all day today. So as soon as I came home from work today, I got that uploaded to YouTube. And then I thought, well, while it's uploading, I'll grab something to eat. Yeah, that didn't happen. I fell asleep again while it was uploading. So I had about an hour now. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm yawning here and there, but I'm wide awake. I'm good to go. And so today at work, and, you know, I know it's Thursday, well, Friday Eve, but, you know, I know my, one of my bosses and his wife, they are going up to um, their cabin this weekend, so uh, so they're going up, and my other boss will probably take off, and there's not really too many people back in the office, again, because, you know, the COVID restrictions and trying to keep us away, but we've had some customers in that um, we just finished a runoff on uh, one of the machines that we had, so for that, it's like... Um, we tell them, you know, they give us a print of what they're working on and what can our machine do to make these parts even better to get the machining down, down time and things like that. So we like did the, the parts in my cap of what we said we could. So that went very well. So we will be getting that machine cleaned up and getting that ready to ship out. So that's pretty cool. Um, but we do have two uh, customers that are coming in tomorrow morning. So, um, you know, as much as it's nice to kind of see people and to chat with people, it still kind of makes me nervous. And even though, you know, we wear a mask and they wear their mask, it's like, you know, the what ifs. And so that part of it's kind of scary. And one of them, um, actually he had emailed, uh, we have a, a website and uh, people email in if they have questions and things like that. And of course that goes to me. And um, so anyway, so I answered his questions, and he was not a customer of ours before. He had just got his first used Mazak that he got from an auction, and so he had some questions on it. So anyway, just kind of talked back and forth through email, and I said, oh, if you're in the area, you know, step in and come and meet us. And yeah, so he's coming in tomorrow, so, so that's really fun that you just kind of, you know, even though sometimes you're not talking on the phone or you're talking in person, you still kind of just emailing back and forth to some people you just kind of build a relationship and that's that to me that part's that's the fun part but anyway you're not here for that you are here for vlogmas number five. Oh, you know what else is so exciting um i was getting ready to go to work this morning and um so i was getting into my car and my neighbor had just taken his girls to school the uh the two little ones are still in the uh, and doing the uh, physical schooling. Their older kids <clears throat> are doing the virtual. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But anyway, so he had come over and he said, uh, yeah, we're making some last minute plans. We're going to go see my family or um, my wife's family for Christmas. And uh, and even though, you know, Mr. Griffin's welcome, um, would you mind taking care of him for a few days? And I'm like, Yes, 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 please. I'll take care of Mr. Griffin anytime. So I'm so excited. I'll get to have Mr. Griffin for a few days next week. So that's really cool. So anyway, that's my good news for today. I had a nap and I'm going to have Mr. Griffin. And so let's do the Vlogmas. So anyway, I got my Scentsy and I've really been getting some some really nice um, uh, the, the wax bars and things like that in there. And I've got some hit the hand lotion, the body soap and things, you know, to, uh, yeah, so that's really nice. And so anyway. Let's do number five. So we have number five here up in the corner, this little star. So anyway, I hope everybody else this week is is going good. I am the I mean the weeks are flying by, but I'm keeping busy and I'm having fun and chatting on YouTube. I'm not getting to chat on YouTube as much. Doing the vlog misses every day, it just does kind of takes away of getting to watch other people's videos and things when I come home. But 
I still really enjoy getting to chit chat with everybody. So anyway, I've got a the washer whips, and I love the washer whips. So this one I've got is clothesline. And what washer whips is, it's like these little crystals, like on the idea of like the downy unstoppables and things like that. Clothesline is, is another one of my really favorite scents. So it's like really like sun-dried linen that's been out in the sun on a summer day. And it's like, you get the fresh spring smell and like flowers. And I think this one's like orange blossoms and fresh greens and creamy violets and just that fresh air. And it's just... It's just really a nice fragrance. I think this smells really nice. Even say if you were using um, any of the uh, other detergents, if you put this in the washing machine with it, and it just helps the scent just kind of stay a little bit longer when you put things in your closet and you go to get them a couple of weeks later and they still smell fresh like this. I love that. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what kind of coffee I am going to be drinking later. I think yesterday I had the gingerbread, and that was really, really good. And tonight I have got holiday magic blend right here and again I yeah I, I destroyed this like yeah I, I have no idea how you're really supposed to get these out like you know that first night it boom it went flying like a 3d capsule or something so anyway holiday magic blend so I'm excited to try that and so I don't forget again I'm going to take my lint my Lindor truffles so these are really good. I really love the inside. It's nice and soft and creamy. And I have got a red one tonight. So that's exciting to love that my little chocolate. And I already took my wine out. So that I didn't uh, hurt anybody. And I got my nutcracker wine glass. This is getting to be one of my favorites. And I just got them. Yeah. And uh, the wine that I have is... Booyah! But I did forget my handy dandy opener, so let me grab my opener and I will be right back. That way you don't have to see me struggle and make faces and make funny noises. Yeah, I do that when I open things. Alrighty, so I was showing you the Booyah, and this is a Chardonnay. It's from California. And look at that. No faces, no struggling. It smells sweet. Nice Chardonnay. Like I'm still dry, but. A little on the sweet side, so let me just put a little bit in. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, that's a little bit. And, um, yeah. So, it says, I just go on the website to grab a quick description. So, it says, Booyah Chardonnay. Of course, you're supposed to let it sit 10 to 15 minutes. Really? Who does that? Not when you're doing a YouTube video, anyway. So, it says, Bright and Balance. The Booyah Chardonnay is a modern take on one of the world's most widely planted but most controversial white grape varietals on the planet. The Booyah is elegant gold, elegantly gold with a quindescence, quindescence of tropical fruits, peach, and a hint of toasted bread butter flavors to finish. The Chardonnay represents the way Chardonnay was meant to taste with its creamy texture and a crisp finish. So it says it's lemon, pear, pineapple, passion fruit, and peach. Sweetness is low, the acidity is medium, uh, the tannins low, the body and alcohol is medium. It says it pairs with goat cheese, herb crusted cod, chicken parmesan, onesies, and popcorn. So the story behind the wine, and it's this one is actually from the owners that created that company, and I, I still don't know how to say it right. It's Dringjk, so it's Dringjk. So it's uh, this is the brainchild of the founder Brett, who remains true to his vision of introducing our customers to the world's best wineries in a fun, approachable way. That's why he travels the world. Tasting thousands of wine every year. Can you imagine having a job like that? Traveling the world and tasting wines? Man, some, some people really know how to get the great jobs, right? Uh, thousands of wines each year in search of the best the world has to offer. But we can't let our partner wineries have all the fun. Using the extensive knowledge of Brett and our team, we also craft and curate our own unique wines that we're proud to debut under the Trinjeke, or however you say it, wine label. So anyway, cheers everyone. Let's have a quick sip. It smells good. Mm. 
So it's um, it's not sweet, but I can feel like it's tart and it is crisp. This is a good Chardonnay. I like this one. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. I hope everyone goes out and has a great Friday tomorrow. Great start to your weekend. And I see, I'll see you tomorrow for vlog number six. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I just had to come on to say, I found the button the first time. Woohoo!